I'm Paul Sanger for the Finance News Network, and today we're talking with Vital Metals, ASX code VML. They have a market cap of around 53 million. Vital Metals is Canada's first rare earth mining company following commencement of mining at its Nechalacho rare earth project in Canada in June 2021. It holds a portfolio of rare earth technology metals and gold projects located in Canada and Germany. We welcome today Vital Metals Chairman Richard Crooks. Richard, welcome to the network. Thanks, Paul. Nice to be here. Richard, it's the first time we've had uh, Vital Metals on the network. Maybe we kick things off with just a brief overview of who Vital Metals are. Yeah, thanks, Paul. So Vital Metals is a rare earth focused exploration and development company. Our flagship project is called Nechalacho. It's in the Northwest Territories of Canada. Uh, the project is about 100 kilometers southeast of the capital, Yellowknife. And it's an advanced project that's been the subject of previous exploration uh, by a former company who took it all the way through to feasibility study and permitting. At that stage, that company had a billion dollar market cap. So it's a, it's a solid resource, solid com- uh, project. And we've acquired the uh, upper portion of the light rare earth um, component of the deposit. And we are taking that through to um, feasibility study and hopefully into production. So Nechalacho comprises the Tardif deposit, which is about 119 million tons at 1.4% TREO, which is significantly you know, higher grade than you know, a lot of the market peers in, in the space. Um, so it's a, it's a great resource. Um, we have some satellite deposits which are even higher grade, and they were the focus of our initial mining campaign over the last couple of years. So we have some beneficiated ore from that campaign sitting on surface stockpiles. And you know, we'll look to sort of monetize those as we can over the, over the coming months and years. And are there any prominent neighbors with, where, where your project is? No one really close by apart from a few lithium explorers. So there's been some, uh, some regional success in, in the hard rock lithium sector across all of Canada. And in fact, between us and Yellowknife, there's uh, you know, some significant uh, lithium deposits. So they're, they're our nearest neighbors, which does potentially uh, you know, open our, our tenements up for some future lithium exploration as well. Richard, uh, can you talk us through the deal with Shenghe Resources and what it means for Vital Metals? Yeah, well, we're very pleased to announce this uh, cornerstone investment from Shenghe. It's a conditional investment uh, subject only to their ODI approvals. But once we uh, receive those, expected in November, we will uh, bank $5.9 million and Shenghe will become a 9.9% shareholder in, in Vital. Um, we're delighted to have uh, Shenghe, a quality partner, a rare earth expert uh, on our register. They not only bring us financial um, support and the capital that we need to obviously continue our activities, but they are a global rare earths player um, across the entire value chain. And we think they bring you know, fantastic support capability and uh, networks um, across the rare earth sector. So, you know, a fantastic uh, uh, partner to have in, in this space. Richard, Vital shares are currently suspended on the AXX. When do you expect it to recommence trading? We expect to recommence trading in November uh, when the Shenghe transaction closes. Uh, but of course, that'll be subject to as following the ASX relisting process, which includes the issuing of a cleansing prospectus and other sort of approvals from them. But we anticipate it uh, being certainly um, you know, by the end of November. And uh, Vital announced recent board and management changes. What do these mean for the company? So we're super excited to have a new CEO. Uh, Dr. Geordie Mark has joined us. He started at the beginning of um, last week and I spent a week with him in, in Vancouver recently, just uh, settling him into the company. He's a, a very capable, competent uh, leader. Uh, hugely experienced in resource development uh, analysis, growing companies, has a great network in Canada, and we're super excited to have him lead the next phase of our Nechalacho development. In addition, we've just appointed a a CFO in Australia here in in our Sydney office, Lara Iacuso, so uh, she's a a great resource, a great addition to the team, and a very solid, safe pair of hands in the financial aspects of our business. And uh, what are the upcoming catalysts uh, for Vital and when do you expect to announce these over the coming months? So once we're back trading, uh, we expect to have news flow which will include you know, the release of further drill results, uh, study results from our scoping study. Uh, the big announcement obviously will be you know, the completion of some sort of preliminary economic assessment of the Nechalacha project or the Tardif aspects of that 
and we'd like to think that there's some news flow to come around uh, some exciting developments in that area. Richard, it's been a pleasure to have you today. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Paul.